Hello everyone, welcome to my video tutorial on how to make this chair that I've designed. Uh, I've made loads of these now, they do take about 8 to 10 hours now. Uh, the first one I ever made probably took an awful lot longer than that. Uh, it probably amounted to days uh, rather than hours. Um, so the first time you make it, it will take a while. Uh, it's fairly straightforward once you get started uh, and you'll notice when you've cut it, uh, whether you can see that on the other, the parts are all numbered uh, if you use your scoring stylus uh, in, in the machine uh, and that way you know what bits what. A couple of bits aren't numbered like the two small parts here um, just because they're so small uh, so make sure you don't lose them. The parts that are numbered D with a number, D6 and so on, D3, they are for the drawer uh, so keep them to the side just now. Uh, you don't need them. The first thing you want to do, uh, and you'll have to, I'll have to apologise in advance, this video might be a bit jumpy because uh, I don't really have anywhere to sit the phone to take the video. Um, so I'll, I'll show you how to do something then it might stop for a minute and then I'll come back. So this, the base obviously, it's the other two parts that aren't numbered but it's quite obvious what they are. Uh, first thing you want to do, you want to pack these out with just plain cardboard. Um, I've already pre-cut these, but it's actually easier if you stick this onto the cardboard first, then cut around it, um, and then stick the other bit on and get it all lined up. It doesn't matter if it's slightly untidy around here, uh, because you can trim it down once it's all glued together, as long as you make sure that they both line up once they're all glued together. Um, so the video is going to pause for a minute, uh, so I'll then jump back once I've glued these together, and then I'll start with the next bit. So that's that. Bits glued together, so you see it makes it much thicker. Uh, I'll still need to trim that, but I'll not show you to do that. Uh, I'm sure you'll manage to trim that uh, anyway. Uh, so on to the next part. Uh, you then want to do the same with the cardboard with pieces one and two, which is the chair back. So you see they're marked. Uh, so again, same as what you did with this one. Uh, glue the cardboard on. Uh, I used two bits of cardboard, as you can maybe see in there. Um, so it makes it two ply, I think that's what they call that. Uh, and then once it's glued, I then trim it. Uh, and again, it doesn't matter too much if it's slightly untidy, as long as it's not protruding around the edges too much. But if it's too far in, it's it's okay because you're going to tidy up around the edges anyway. Uh, so again, I'm going to pause the video just now and then come back when that's see. I have now glued the two bits of cardboard and then the template on top. I've not glued the back bit yet because obviously there's no way of lining that up to do it. Uh, so I'm away to trim round here and then glue the other piece on and then that'll be that one. So I'm going to pause again and I'll be back. Right, as you can see, I've now glued all that. You can see it's not tidy at all around the edges there. Uh, granted, I have been doing this quite quickly. I would normally be a bit more careful, but uh, I'm trying to get this video done because I know a lot of you are waiting for it. Um, so all I'm going to do with that now is just wait all that thick bits down there, let them dry, which I would leave for at least half an hour. Uh, I'm using, I should have said, Scotch permanent glue sticks. Um, which I find doesn't wrinkle the cardboard. Uh, it's permanent, um, it seems to work for this quite well. Uh, so I tend to use that uh, for the for all this sort of thing. If you use white glue, um, PVA glue, Elmer's glue, school glue, whatever you want to call it, uh, you'll find that it'll probably wrinkle the cardboard. Um, and then even once it's dry, it'll still start to curve, as I've uh, discovered to my cost in the past. Uh, so that's why I'm using the, the Scotch glue sticks, um, which I get in Costco. Um, they're not very expensive and they do the job. So I'm going to pause again uh, whilst I let this dry before we can move on to the next bit. Right, uh, that's this bit just about dry now, so it was dry enough for me to carry on. So you're then going to move on to build up the chair. Uh, quite a few pieces here, they all look the same, but they are, as I say, they're all numbered. Um, obviously this is piece one and two for the backing bits, uh, so quite obviously the next one will be three, which is this one here. And this glues straight on to the chair back there, if you can see that there. Uh, so I'm going to glue that on and uh, I'll be back. So that's that bit glued on there. The next thing you're going to do is number four, which again glues straight on there. Uh, now you'll notice down the sides here, this bit's slightly narrower than that bit. Uh, there is a reason for that and it's because pieces 10 and 11 go down the sides there once the chair's built up. Um, but this forms the, the back of the chair uh, and all the support. Uh, so I'm going to glue this bit on here. So that's piece number four glued on. Now this is where you're probably going to start to notice that the whole thing is very over-engineered. Um, it's quite solid already, uh, but I like these things to last. Uh, the first one I made was about two years ago, uh, and it's still going strong now. Uh, so I think it's worth just spending that extra time and effort just to over-engineer them. So the next bit is a little more complicated. I'm now going to have to uh, set my phone up 
so that I can use both hands to show you what to do. Uh, so I'll be back in a second and show you that. Right, uh, now, this is the more complicated part. Um, I'm going to just make sure that you can see what I'm doing, uh, so I'll have to keep looking at the phone. Uh, so, let's just sit that against that just now. Basically, you're wanting to build the chair up using pieces five, six, seven, and eight at the front. Uh, now, seven and eight, they glue together, and five and six stay in the middle, okay? Uh, so let's glue these two together. Now again you'll notice, if you can see this on the camera here, uh, when they're together you've got this lip around the edge there, which matches the lip at the back, and again that's for putting these two parts down the side of the chair, but that will come to that in a second. So again, just make sure that these are lined up. Like that. So that'll be the front there. Uh, and I see that's not just quite lined up there. Actually, I should have pointed out the card that I used at the start. That's, it's a thousand micron card, one millimeter thick. Uh, I had to cut this card because it seems a bit denser than the other stuff that I've used. I had to cut it three times in the machine. Um, just a case of not taking the mat out and just pressing the the, start, the, the go button again. Uh, but I'm sure you guys all know how to do that anyway. Uh, so that's the front piece there. Uh, now you'll notice I did accidentally slice that bit there with a knife. Um, but that doesn't matter because it's all hidden anyway. So, right, here's where it becomes a bit more complicated because um, you have to kind of hold everything and uh, get it all sitting in place. There is a base for this part in here, and I don't know if you can see that. You'll, you'll see the bits that you've cut out. It's piece number nine. It does have two marks on it there that's being done with the scoring stylus. That gives you a rough idea of where to put these bits. Uh, so they kind of just sit there. Uh, but that'll become obvious. And they don't need to sit exactly there, of course, because it, it, everything gets covered up anyway. It's just so that you have a rough idea of where to put it. Um, so, what I tend to do with this, and it seems to be different every time I do it, I try and get this bit glued in first here, if you can see that. Uh, and I do use white glue for this, I don't use hot glue, for the simple reason the hot glue can dry really quickly as it soaks into this card. Uh, the white glue you've got a bit of play and it's and it's a better fit at the end. Once everything's put together with the white glue you can then just go over it with hot glue uh, which I tend to do. Again I like these things to last, I don't like the idea of them falling to bits because most of them are for gifts these. Um, I don't really sell them uh, as just gifts and I'd hate to think that they fell to bits uh, afterwards. Um, so I'm going to glue this bit on here first um, and hope it doesn't fall to bits as I'm trying to show you. Um, but let's do that first. I can say just enough there to hold it. Because then this is the fiddly bit where you need to get these bits semi in place. You can see what I'm doing there. So that'll kind of hold in place. Now the two shorter pieces there, if you can see them there, if we just sit them here, hopefully that'll just hold it up. It's not easy doing this, but I'm trying to show you what to do. So I'll just sit the white glue behind the chair again, just to hold it, stop it falling. So hopefully you can see the chair starting to take shape. Uh, so what I'm now going to do is get the front bit glued on, and again I'm going to use white glue just along the join uh, the edge there, and set that in place roughly. I'll not glue these top bits in yet because I'll do a bit of adjustment first and then glue them in uh, once this bit's on. Um, so I'm going to have to swap my glue about. Uh, 
and I should have said before I started, excuse the mess of my craft table, but I've got lots of projects on the go just now. So, let's get that sat in place, but you can see how fiddly it would be with a hot glue gun, because uh, it would start to dry before you got anywhere near the right place. Let's move that. There will be a degree of flexibility in it just now anyway, uh, which is fine. Just make sure it's sitting nice and flat. That's fine there. 